sing the Tenko praises. This is, you're about to see why. Why? Why are you spitting milk out like that, you crazy child? And we got Doug hair everywhere. I'm about to show y'all why the Tenko is my favorite. I cannot with the way he spits out. It's like he will drink and drink and drink from that, and then the last bit, he'll just spit it out. Drives me nuts. Roll it. You guys see the big spot of milk and so dog hair and milk. Boom, all done. No, Ro, Ro, Roman, stop it. I love this thing for this reason. You can really see these vacuums and mops in one sweep. There's no special features. This is why it's key. Y'all make messes. We will all make messes. I'm actually gonna leave the rest of this. Um, I'm gonna mop and vacuum during their nap today because they're both supposed to if they stick to the schedule they're on right now. Nap at the same time and mama gets free time to All right, all right. This is kill, I mean, we're just, we're killing it today. You guys know that sound? I took the drugs and the drugs are working. The drugs are working on TikTok. Well, I took my Lexapro this morning and it might as well have been a placebo with the way I'm feeling. <laughs> like it ain't working today. <laughs> These kids got me messed up. <sighs> so they are both sleeping right now. And of course, instead of cleaning, which is easier when they're asleep, I'm, well, I've been editing yesterday's vlog. I gotta clean up the mess though. So if you saw yesterday's vlog, you know Ezra was playing in dirt and I just let it. Like the, yesterday was one of those days like, mm -hmm. play in the dirt, I don't care. Uh, or I guess today, it's actually today when I'm filming tomorrow's vlog. So what you're seeing is yesterday's vlog is present day. I, I just, I, I don't have it in me to fight that today. So, I don't know why I'm opening this package like this. They keep sending the same stuff, they must made a new color. Forget the filler lip plumping line smoothing gloss in Candy Sky and Daisy. Massive. Um, so yeah, we have to do a target pickup in a little while. So that'll be after both boys. Ooh, that's bright. Wake up. But they're both sleeping right now for the time being. As there's probably only gonna sleep another 10 or 15. So get up. Uh, oh, oh God. That's not. That's not what I expected. <laughs> it is, I don't care. I don't care, I, I don't care. <laughs> so let's, let me show you what happened. We got home from vacation. They walked out here, we're like <gasps> plants and started destroying them and it was just too much. So I let these plants die. They already weren't doing that good as is. I think I planted too many of them, but this happened in like two seconds. So I gotta go get the shot back and clean. Actually, I think it would probably be easier to start with the vacuum and mop. Like how do we even get here? How, and, and if you have kids, you understand, like this happened in four seconds. We gotta, I gotta go get the, that's what I'll do. I'll get the broom. I think I said mop again. Them drugs are not working today. Might as well have been a placebo. I am wired. I'm gonna go get the broom get this up and then I gotta get that whole thing off the porch before they wake up. I can't do another dirt day. I can't do it.
Okay. Yeah. It was easier to just go that way through the house than it was to go down because we have like 18 stairs that go down to the back. One thing about me is I would find a way to fall. I, I would figure out a way to fall and I wouldn't fall down like two stairs. I would somehow figure out a way to fall down all 18. So that was easier. This has been such a rough day, but we're going now to Target. Um, I think I mentioned this earlier. I've got to pick up um, diapers and wipes were out completely. Damn, that's the other thing. And it's so fun, like real talk for a second. Whenever, my period does this every time. So like every few periods, like I'm not big on tampons. I'm like big on tampons for like day two or three or whatever. And if you're, I mean, obviously we're women here, you know, you know. So I'm still in my driveway. That's why I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, but day two and day three are usually like my tampon usage days since having babies. I'll have to get like bigger tampons because it's day two or day three and I'm almost out. And I swear to you, it's like every time I go to buy a box, my period's like, okay, why are you being dramatic? It's not that deep. And then it will like stop, but I need them. <laughs> and I just know that like later tonight, my body's going to be like, okay, that was a little dramatic. We don't need those tampons. Regular is fine. And then I'll switch to the menstrual cup. <sighs> so that's what we're doing now. And then I'm gonna go get a Diet Coke because mama needs something. I cannot get through the rest of this day without some help. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, gosh. And today, Ezra pulled those shoes, through those shoes off of the shelf for no reason other than he just wanted to. Kid is killing me, but I've been in organization mood. So this is what's left, what I have to go through. Um, I'm so annoyed. So I got a form from the IRS in May, I think. Um, sent it to my accountant and it basically said like, hey, you were supposed to fill out something, something, but instead you filled out something, something S. Like, you know how the, all the forms have different letters and numbers. So I told my accountant and he was like, we'll tell him we're supposed to fill out the S form. So... I go, it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't even think about it. Get a letter the other day, and it, basically what they were saying is like, oh, okay, that's fine if you wanna fill out f whatever form S, but you digitally signed this form back in December of 2020, and we didn't accept digital signatures back then. So you have to physically sign it and send it back in. It is July, almost August, of 2024 and I just, they, were, they just realized that the form was not signed correctly. So I have to send it in. And then the worst part is, I don't even know where I'm sending it to because they said that they put a return address envelope in there and they did, and it's ripped in half. So I'm literally gonna stick the whole thing back in there and just mail it to the freaking whoever, like the IRS that you, I think there's like two addresses. It's like, if you live in these states, you send it to this address. If you live in these states, you send it to this address. I'm just going to send it to the one on there. It's like, it's not right. But I mean, you, you, it's ripped in half and I can literally see the last five of the zip codes. You know how like you'll have a five digit zip code dash and then it's four more numbers. So I can see the four numbers, the dash, and then one number. No address that has the IRS information on it matches that um, zip code and those last four, not one, so yay. Um, but apparently my, my accountant can just email them. I can't just email them, I have to mail them stuff, but I'm just annoyed by it because it's like, it's been four years and basically you're saying that you just now realized I haven't been, it's so IRS of them. Um, and I hate all things taxes, so it's like it couldn't happen to a better, more mentally stable person that I'd be getting these constant letters from them. Like, it really just couldn't. It's so great for my anxiety. But anyway, I gotta clean up. Um, there's a couple. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do. I got some PR the other day from La Roche. Pose, is that how you say it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm going through a tretinoin and situation purge again right now because I went up to 0.05. So I like my routine as it is because 
for what it is. My acne is at a minimum despite how bad my skin is because of the tretinoin purging. Does that make sense? Um, so I'm like scared to try new things ever because I'm like, what if it messes up how hard I've worked and what we're working on right now? <laughs> Um, but I gotta get that figured out and I gotta wash my hair tonight. It is disgusting. And then I'm putting up my laundry, going to bed. I reached out to the blinds lady today, told her that I wanted to go ahead and order the um, rest of the house. So she got those ordered and I'm really excited. And then I think we're gonna wait and order the bed once we know a little bit more of a timeline about the chairs and stuff. Um, I'm not trying to order it like all of the bedroom furniture and stuff at one time, but I do want to order it relatively close together. And I didn't realize some of the rug swatches that I ordered today. One of the swatches doesn't even come in until November. I can guarantee you I'm not waiting on that. Like I'm not waiting for a swatch until November to make a decision about a rug that will probably then take equally as long time. So um, yeah, I'm going to wait, get all the swatches in, and then we'll kind of decide a timeline and game plan for that. But I'm going to get in the shower. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. We'll see you tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow will be a better day and my boys won't make me want to cry. <laughs>